Hi, I posted a video recently showing how I did my cutting files for layering up multi-layer vinyl projects. And this video is just going to show how you can add registration marks to your cutting files to make it easier for actually aligning your vinyl once you've cut it. So I'm not going into how I created this file. I'm just going to show you how you can add the registration marks and then show you on the scan and cut how you can line them up to layer up your layers of vinyl. So I'm going to come over here and choose the um, rectangle icon and I'm just going to draw a little box. I'm going to select it. While it's selected, I'm going to right click and duplicate it and drag the duplicate away. Then I'm going to select them both come up here to my align tool and I'm going to use this icon align the bottom edges and that just makes these two level. While they're selected I'm going to come up to object and group them. So when I click off and click back on you can see these are now a group. Okay it doesn't have to be a square it can be a circle a triangle it can be any shape you like but I'm just choosing a square for ease and I'm just making sure that I position them so that they're above my design okay and that's all i'm going to do i'm going to save this file now file save as i'm going to put it on my desktop because i haven't got a usb stick uh, plugged in at the moment so i'm just going to call it aligning vinyl dot svg and save it on my desktop I'm going to minimise this down out of the way for now. I've got Canvas open. I'm in a new project. I'm going to come to the Projects tab and I'm going to go to Import SVG. I'm going to click on Choose File and I'm going to navigate to my desktop and find that SVG file I've just made and click Choose. And there it is. And I'm going to open it. There it is. I'm not going to touch it. I'm not going to do anything with it apart from give it a name aligning vinyl I'm going to give it the same name I can save it in my projects within canvas and I'm going to click download and there it is and canvas has now converted our Inkscape SVG file into a scan and cut file I'm going to right click choose download link file as again I'm going to put it on my desktop um, so I know where I'm going to plug my USB stick in and then I'm going to show you on the scan and cut machine how we um, line everything up. Okay so I'm at the scan and cut machine now and I've got my USB stick plugged into the side of my machine but before I go any further I just wanted to talk about what I've what I've got and um, what I'm going to cut. So basically I've got some black vinyl, some pink vinyl and I've got two types of transfer sheet. It doesn't really matter what type you use but um, if it's clear it might be better for this technique but this one's clear and it's got like a, a white paper backing that you peel away and this one um, is, is, doesn't have a backing it's sticky and it's kind of a bit like masking tape but you can see through it um, but just not as good as the clear stuff so I'm just going to set the machine up and then I'll be back in a minute Okay, so I've got my mat loaded up with my black vinyl. I've got my blade on one and I've got my cut pressure in the machine set to one. But it's the screen more than anything I want you to see to show you this technique. So I'm going to go into pattern and into saved data because the design I made is on my USB stick. I'm going to choose my USB stick. And I've got all different folders set up on mine with, with things in, but I know it's on the last page. So I'm going to choose it. Now when you bring a file in to scan and cut, it always brings it into this top corner. I don't know if you can see it clearly there on screen. So I'm not going to touch it and I'm not going to move it at all. I'm going to say OK. And then I'm going to click on this icon at the top here because basically what I've got there on screen is the whole design. So I've got my two registration boxes and then I've got the two layers of the butterfly, the back layer, which was black, if you remember, in Inkscape, and I'm going to cut in black, and the top layer, which was pink, and I'm going to cut in pink 
for the video but I'm only I only want to cut the black layer and the registration boxes at the moment so I need to get rid of the top layer but I don't want to touch the design or, or else otherwise it, it won't line up when, when we come to get to that stage so I'm going to click on this icon and then it will automatically choose part of your design now I don't know if it shows too clear on the video but this box here is highlighted in red which means that's the one that's selected so if I use these arrows and click it will go to the next part of the design now I'm not quite sure at the moment whether that's the outside or the inside I think it's the outside so I'm going to click again and see what it selects I think that's now the inside then it's gone to that so I'm going to toggle back round again so it's chosen that it's chosen the outside which is the one we want to keep so I'm going to click on it once more and that's the inner inner section of the butterfly and I'm going to hit delete and say okay so you can see I've still got my two registration marks and my outside of my butterfly and I'm now going to cut this so I'll be back in a minute okay so it's cut out it's still on my mat I'm going to just use some kind of a pointed ended tool and I'm going to lift up the corner of the vinyl to separate it from its backing paper and I'm going to peel it away slowly and you can see that I'm left with the butterfly and the registration points I'm just going to discard that waste okay, so I'm just going to take this off my mat for now and put it on one side so I've got the backing sheet with my vinyl and my two registration points. Okay, so now we're going to cut the second part of the butterfly. So on the screen it's saying, have I finished cutting? And I'm going to say, okay. I'm going to click on the home button and it's asking me, is it okay to delete all the pattern? And I'm going to say, okay. And now I'm going to go back and start again. So I'm going to go to pattern, save data, to the USB stick, scroll to the last page, find the butterfly, don't know if you can see this, I'm trying to keep it out of the, the light, say OK and then again we're going to go to this top icon on the left here, again it's selected that square, we don't want that, we're going to use the arrow now we know last time that after this box this was the background layer the black layer and it's the top layer we want to cut this time so we're okay to delete that so we're going to hit the rubbish bin and say okay and now we're left with the top layer which was pink in Inkscape and the two registration points I'm going to load the mat up with my pink vinyl and cut that so I'm going to say okay okay and I'll be back in a minute. I've cut the pink layer and I've finished cutting so I'm going to say OK. I'm going to remove the mat from the machine. I'm going to close down my scan and cut and then I'll be back in a minute to show you what we do next. Right so I've removed the waste from the pink vinyl like I did on the black and this is what I've got. My black layer with my registration marks and my pink top layer with my registration marks I'm going to use the clear transfer tape and put it over the top layer and I'm going to burnish it down really well so that it, it picks up everything and then I'll be back in a minute so I've got my vinyl on my clear sheet that I've just removed from here. This might look dirty but this piece of transfer tape has been used for several different projects. So that's as it's come off the sheet so I'm going to turn it over so it's sticky side up and I'm going to put this back on over the butterfly and just rub it down but leave the two registration points exposed now I'm going to bring this one back in and because this bit's covered up you've only got this to <clears throat> deal with and I'm going to line the two lots of squares up now directly over each other and it's easier if you try and position 
one and then position the other and obviously the more accurate you are here with this the more accurate the rest of your design is going to line up and I'm not doing a particularly great job at the moment here but it's just for the video okay so I'm just going to burnish that down so because we've put this on here this acts as like a hinge so all as we need to do now is peel back this release paper slowly so that we leave the design still on the sheet just going to do it very slowly it's very sticky get that out of the way and then you just literally fold this back over and just let it fall burnish it down and then hopefully when you peel it away you've got your two layers of vinyl you can cut those registration marks off now you don't need them as you can see I didn't quite get them exactly lined up but near enough and that's your vinyl now your two layers of vinyl you can put that on whatever you want I'm just going to put it back on a piece of backing paper for now because I don't know what I'm going to use it on but that's um, an easy way to do it and because